Jess has set up a stall in busy Deptford Market, selling top quality chef's knives shipped in all the way from America. She has a TV that's constantly playing an infomercial showing any potential customers what a fantastic deal this set of knives are. This is the cutting edge scam. Ideal Christmas present, 22 piece set for 19.99. Hello. How are you? Do you watch cooking? Uh, yes. Yeah. You got a good set of knives? Not as good as this lot. No, this is the number one selling knife in the US right now. Yeah. You buy one pro blade cutter plus you get a 21 piece set for free. But, I mean, if you can see it on the video. The sales pattern is good but it's the infomercial that's really got her interested. It seems too good an offer to refuse, and she buys a set for 20 quid. Lovely. Thanks for Have a lovely day. Everything seems to be going well for Jess, and nothing appears out of the ordinary, except for the two jokers on the TV with the dodgy American accents. Wow, that's fantastic. Let's find out what's really going on. The knives, of course, are not chef's knives shipped in from America. They are cheap, flimsy and useless, bought from the cash and carry and repackaged with some new branding. The aim of the game is to convince the customers that they are buying a top-of-the-range product. The hustlers do this by creating an infomercial. All it takes to shoot one is a couple of chef's outfits, a cheap knife set and a camcorder. Turning over. Three, Three, two, one, action. Hi, I'm Jerry Steele, and I rob Marks. The, chicken the trick with this scam is to leave no doubt in a customer's mind about the quality of the product. With some clever slogans, high-tech patter, and brand psychology, every customer should be falling over themselves to take advantage of this fantastic deal. That's a wrap. <laughs> So, after a spot of editing, it's time to reveal the amazing Wonderblade Pro 3. Hi, I'm Jerry Steele. And I'm Rob Marks. Has this ever happened to you? The chickens come out of the oven, it's piping hot, and you're trying to carve the breast, and look at it. Looks like roadkill, Jerry. But I believe Rob has got the answer to all our problems. Yes, I do. Introducing the Wonderblade Pro 3, the future of kitchen technology today. This features nano sharpening technology on the blade, an ergonomically designed polycarbonate handle. This ensures a firm grip, reducing wrist strength, improving chopping speed, reducing preparation time, and cutting your kitchen time in half. Wow. Armed with their new infomercial and cheap repackaged knives, it's time for Alex, Jess and Paul to hit the market. Will the new video help them sell their knives to the public? And it's not long before the video starts to pull customers in. Jerry, if you were to try and buy a blade like this in the store, it would cost you upwards of $100. But today, you can own a Wonderplace Pro 3 for just $39.99. $39.99. That's fantastic, Rob. You can buy it with technology. You can trust. Yeah, the exact same set. Wow, 13 pieces for just $39.99. You gonna get one? Yeah. Yeah? Here you go. Thanks ever so much. Enjoy your cooking. Cheers. Thank you. Bye. Hello. How are you? $39.99. That's fantastic. That's See, that's US dollars. We're selling it for $19.99. I mean, it's as seen on the TV right here. Everything you get. Can you go to the table? Yeah? Okay. There you go. $19.99. Thank you. Get you a penny change. Through the morning, the money keeps rolling in, and every customer walks away feeling satisfied they've picked up a bargain. But what do they think of their new purchase? The video promotion is very good uh, because you don't really have the time or the space on a market like this to cut a tomato or to cut a cucumber. So the promotion of video is very good to actually see what these knives can do. But on closer inspection, do the Wonder Blades still deliver? Yeah, a bit upset. <laughs> but this is really... You know. 
It's a good idea to actually check what you're buying, even if it's a, a half open box or a completely closed box like this one was. I think I'm gonna go back and ask my money back. The reason this scam works is that people like to buy a brand product, a product which they think has got some reputation, whereas in, in fact a lot of these so-called branded products are actually very cheap, very um, crude products, not actually very good quality at all. A good hustler can sell anything. The trick is making it seem much better than it is. That is the art of the pitch. Items always look a lot better when they're packaged up and on the TV. Our advice? Try it before you buy. And if you can't do that, see if you can find a review on the internet.